Hello children. Fourth question. In how many ways can a team of three boys and three girls be selected from five boys and four girls? So we have total number of boys five and total number of girls are four. In which we have to select a team three boys from five boys. So we have to select three boys from five boys. Team one and we have to select three girls from four girls. So three girls from four girls which is team two. Here order is not important. If we take um, three boys as ABC. ABC which is nothing but BAC. So only we have to select uh, three boys from the five boys to make a team. So order is not important. If order is not important then we have to use NCR. So using the formula NCR which is equal to N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. Selecting three boys from five boys. So N is five and R is three. Then 5C3 which is 5 factorial by 3 factorial. 5 minus 3, 2 factorial. Which is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 into 1. So we get cancelled. So we get 10 ways. Then we have to select 3 girls from 4 girls. So 4C3 which is 4 factorial by 3 factorial into 4 minus 3 which is 1 factorial. So 4 into 3 factorial by 3 factorial with let cancel which is equal to 4. We have to find how many ways can a team be selected. So using fundamental principle of counting which is m into n. So there are 10 into 4 which is equal to 40. There are 40 way, ways a team can be selected. Fifth question. Find the number of ways of selecting 9 balls from 6 red balls, 5 white balls and 5 blue balls if each selection consists of 3 balls of each color. Um, we have uh, 6 red balls, 5 white balls and 5 blue balls in which we have to select 9 balls and each selection consists of 3 balls of each color. So we have to select 3 red balls from 6 red balls and 3 white balls from 5 white balls and 3 blue balls from 5 blue balls. So we can take this as 1, 2 and 3 so that we can use the formula NCR. Here order is not important. So we can use the formula NCR which is N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So first one is number of ways of selecting 3 red balls from 6 red balls. So n is 6 and r is 3. So using the formula 6c3 which is 6 factorial by 3 factorial into 6 minus 3 which is 3 factorial. So 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial by 3 factorial into 3 into 2 into 1. So cancelling this then 3 into 2 6 cancel this we get 5 into 4 which is 20. Then second part is number of ways of selecting 3 white balls from 5 white balls. So we have n is 5 and r is 3. So 5c3 which is 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 5 minus 3 which is 2 factorial which is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 into 1. So we can cancel this. Then this we get 5 into 2 which is 10. Then the third one is number of ways 
of selecting three blue balls from five blue balls here we have n is 5 and r is 3 so 5 c 3 which is 5 factorial by 3 factorial then 5 minus 3 is 2 factorial the same thing 5 into 4 into 3 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 into 1 so cancelling this we get 10 so number of ways of selecting 9 balls from um, 6 red balls 5 white balls and 5 blue balls and the selection should be consist of 3 balls of each color so using fundamental principle of counting we have 20 into 10 into 10 which is 2000 ways sixth question determine the number of five card combination out of 52 cards if there is exactly one ace in each combinations so number of cards are 52 that is n is 52 in which we have to select five card combinations in which it must have exactly one ace in each combination so we have uh, four ace cards out of 52 cards in four ace cards we have to select only one ace so the first part is number of ace selecting from four ace cards so remaining cards are 52 minus 4 which is 48 cards so remaining cards which is 48 so we have to determine the number of five card combinations that five card combination should be exactly it must have one ace card plus four different cards so the second part is selecting four cards out of 48 cards which is the second part so the first part is selecting one ace card from four ace cards and remaining four cards from 48 cards so first part selecting one ace card from four ace cards that is n is four and r is one so we have four c one which is four factorial by one factorial into four minus one which is three factorial which is equal to four into three factorial by three factorial so we get four so second part is selecting four cards out of 48 cards so n is 48 r is 4 so 48 c4 so using the formula ncr which is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial so 48 factorial by r is 4 4 factorial 48 minus 4 which is 44 factorial so we can write this as 48 into 47 into 46 into 45 into 44 factorial by 44 factorial into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 i'm writing 4 factorial as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so cancelling these then 2 and 46 will become 23 and 3 and 45 will become 15 then 4 and 48 cancelling to 12 so we have 12 into 47 into 23 into 15 so multiplying this we get 1945 80 ways of selecting 4 cards out of 48 cards so using fundamental principle of counting then the required number of ways 4 into 1945 which is 778320 so the number of ways of selecting 5 card out of 52 which is 778320. Seventh question in how many ways can one select a cricket team of 11 from 17 players? So we have to select a cricket team of 11 players from 17 players in which only 5 players can 
ball. So number of bowlers is 5. If each cricket team of 11 must include exactly 4 bowlers. So we have to select a cricket team of 11 players. It must include 4 bowlers. So one have to select a cricket team of 11 players including 4 bowlers. So 11 minus 4 which is 7 players which are non-bowlers plus 4 bowlers. So we have to select 4 bowlers from 5. And the remaining 7 bowlers from 12 players. So the first part is selecting 4 bowlers from 5 and 7 players from the rest of the non-bowlers which are 12. So first part selecting 4 bowlers from 5. N is 5 and R is 4. So using formula NCR N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So 5C4 which is 5 factorial by 4 factorial into 5 minus 4, 1 factorial. Which is equal to 5 into 4 factorial by 4 factorial. We get 5. Then the second part is selecting 7 players. From the rest of 12 players. So N is 12. R is 7. 12 C 7. So 12 factorial by 7 factorial. 12 minus 7 which is 5 factorial. So 12 into 11 into 10. Into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial. By 7 factorial, we can write this 5 factorial as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 7 factorial will get cancelled. Then 4 into 2, 8 and 8 will get cancelled. Then 5, 10 cancelled to 2. Then 3 and 12 which is 4. So we get 4 into 11 into 2 into 9 which is 700. 92. So using fundamental principle of counting that is m into n we have to multiply the two values. So the number of ways of selecting 11 players in a team. So required number of ways. Five into seven hundred and ninety two which is Three nine six zero. Eight question. A bag contains five black balls and six red balls. Determine the number of ways in which two black and three red balls can be selected. So we have to select two black balls from five and three red balls from six. Which is six C three. And we have to select two black balls from 5 which is 5C2. Here N is 5 and R is 2. Here N is 6 and R is 3. So the first part is selecting two black balls from 5 black balls. So 5C2 which is 5 factorial by 2 factorial into 5 minus 2 which is 3 factorial. So 5 into 4 into 3 factorial. By 3 factorial into 2 into 1. So cancelling this. We get 5 into 2 which is 10. And the second part is selecting. 3 red balls from. 6 red balls. That is 6 C3. So using the formula 6 factorial by. 3 factorial into 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial. So we get 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial. By 3 factorial and 3 into 2 into 1. So cancelling this. Then 3 into 2 is 6. We can cancel this. We get 5 into 4 which is 20. Then the required number of ways selecting. 2 black balls from 5 and 3 red balls from 6. 
using fundamental principle of counting we have 10 into 20 which is 200 ninth question in how many ways can a student choose a program of five courses if nine courses are available and two specific courses are compulsory for every student so available courses are nine out of which we have to select five courses in which two specific courses are compulsory so out of available courses we have two courses which are compulsory so 9 minus 2 which are 7 which is non-compulsory courses so selecting two courses which are compulsory out of two so first part is selecting two courses out of two course which are compulsory so we have n is 2 and r is 2 so 2c2 is 1 so using ncn which is equal to 1 then we have to select three courses from non-compulsory course so two from two compulsory course and three courses from non-compulsory seven courses so second part is selecting three courses from seven so n is seven and r is three so seven c three so using the formula seven factorial by seven minus three four factorial into three factorial seven into six into five into four factorial by 4 factorial 3 into 2 into 1 so I'm writing 3 factorial 3 into 2 into 1 cancelling this 3 into 2 6 cancel this we get 35 so using fundamental principle of counting number of ways of selecting 5 courses which is 1 into 35 which is equal to 35 thank you children